Hi, it's Katrina. From vicious worms to kicking and screaming marsupials, here are 10 of nature's most badass creatures. Number 10, the Hercules beetle. The Hercules beetle is one of the largest species of beetle, but it's its horn that makes it stand out over all the rest. As a type of rhinoceros beetle, they can grow to up to 7 inches long, and in some cases, their horns can be longer than the rest of their body. They live in tropical jungles and rainforests where their main source of food is rotting wood and fruit that has fallen to the ground. Their incredible strength allows them to lift as much as 850 times their own body weight carried on their shell. There are 13 different known subspecies of Hercules beetle, each of which can be identified by different colorations and patterns across their bodies. The males of this species can all be recognized by their giant horn, and since all they eat is rotting wood and stuff, they aren't using it for hunting. It's used to fight with other males to prove their dominance and worth in front of the females. With their strength and need for combat against their own species, Hercules beetles are one of the most badass creatures of the insect world. Number 9. The Bobbit Worm Bobbit worms are quite simply terrifying creatures that live on the ocean floor. Typically, they grow to around 3.3 feet long, though some have been recorded of up to 10 feet. But you'll rarely see this because they conceal their entire body within the seabed, with only the tip of their head sticking out. Here, they lay in wait for prey. When something passes by, the carnivorous worm snaps into action and snatches its victim at a ferocious speed, clamping it with its dagger-like teeth. It then pulls its prey underground and begins to devour it. The speed and power with which it attacks unsuspecting fish is enough to instantly sever their spinal cords, leaving them with no chance of survival. It's one of the most effective hunting techniques used by any animal, and definitely makes the bobbit worm one of the most badass creatures in existence. Before you feel safe because you never visit the Indo-Pacific or Atlantic Oceans, don't be too confident. There have been a number of reports of staff in pet shops or aquarium owners finding a bobbit worm in a fish tank. Occasionally, their young can find themselves inside rocks that are collected for decorative purposes, and they have no trouble growing and thriving within the sand at the bottom of the tank. Number 8. The Wombat you may think of them as a cute animal from Australia, but when wombats reach adulthood, their temperament is very different. They live quite a solitary life when they are grown up, and this requires them to be able to protect themselves, something that they can do with vicious effectiveness. There are a number of instances of people going to the hospital following a wombat attack, with each one telling a similar story. At first, it hits you with a mighty kick, which is more than enough to knock you over, and then they move in to repeatedly bite at you. There aren't any recorded deaths by wombat, but Australian zoos give it the second highest danger rating, only one step down from that given to lions and bears. The wombat's need for this defense is clear, though. They live in burrows and have plenty of predators that will try and follow them down. The underground tunnels are the wombat's domain, and anything that's entered will receive continuous sharp kicks to the head, something that doesn't end well for them. Number 7. The Tardigrade Having survived five mass extinctions over the course of half a billion years, tardigrades are, without a doubt, the most resilient organism that's ever been discovered. Also known as water bears, there are at least 1,000 different species of tardigrade, but each shares a number of common features. They tend to grow to up to 1 50th of an inch long and can live pretty much anywhere on Earth. They prefer to spend their time in the sediment at the bottom of lakes, but with the ability to survive temperatures as low as minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit and as high as 300 degrees, as well as being resistant to radiation, huge pressures, and even the vacuum of space, there really aren't many places that tardigrades cannot go. How can they survive all of this? In all these scary conditions, the tardigrade will go into a death-like state called cryptobiosis. They'll curl up into a dehydrated little ball and protect their internal organs with a sugary gel. If you put them back into water, they will rehydrate and come back to life in just a few hours. Number 6. Peacock Mantis Shrimp Peacock Mantis Shrimp may look as cute as any other species, or as tasty. But beware, there's a reason why they've been given the nicknames Prawn Killers and Thumb Splitters. There are actually more than 400 different varieties of mantis shrimp, and they are fairly common in tropical and subtropical waters. The peacock mantis shrimp is the most famous of them, and it is a type of smasher, one that has a large club that it uses to smash open the shells of snails and crabs. They usually hide within a burrow or a hole, and when their victim passes by, they strike. 
The speed of this punch is the fastest of any animal, and they can hit speeds of 75 feet per second with an acceleration of 10,000 Gs. That's so fast that the water surrounding the club actually boils and is on par with a 22 caliber bullet. The structure of their club is also impressive because it's got such a sturdy chemical composition that it can withstand this extreme pressure for thousands of hits before it breaks. This is no worry for the shrimp though, because when it's done with the club, it can release it and grow a brand new one. Why a tiny little shrimp would need the power of a 22 caliber bullet is a question I know we are all wondering. Crabs don't stand a chance. Number five, the bullet ant. Growing to up to an inch in length, the bullet ant is the largest species of ant in the world. But despite this, that's not what they're known for the most. It's a species that's native to the western rainforest of South America and is normally quite a docile creature, that is, until it feels threatened. Those unfortunate creatures who feel the wrath of the bullet ant will be subjected to a sting that's 30 times more painful than that of a bee and is ranked as the most painful sting in the world, according to the Schmidt Pain Index, hence the name bullet ant because people have said that it feels like getting shot. Perhaps the most fascinating thing about the sting, though, is that there are no long-lasting effects from being subjected to it. Bullet ants are used in initiation rituals by tribes in the area, where boys are made to wear gloves full of them. The elders weave the ants into the gloves with their stingers pointing inside so they become agitated, and as soon as the hand brushes past them, they sting over and over. It's seen as a sign of strength and learning to withstand the most painful thing the jungle can inflict. The sting is almost completely made from neurotoxin. There are no allergens and virtually no risk of reaction beyond the experience of extreme pain. It also functions similar to a shot of adrenaline, with those who have been subjected to it feeling like they can take on anything, once the pain subsides, of course. Number 4. The Cassowary The cassowary is the world's third biggest bird, but by far the most dangerous. Its name is comprised of two Papuan words. Kasu, which means horned, and wary, which means head. They look quite similar to a turkey or an ostrich, but their colorations are striking. With their big black feathered body and the blue and red skin around the head, they are unlike anything else. And it may come as no surprise to hear that they have been found to be directly descended from dinosaurs. Cassowaries cannot fly, so they have developed effective defensive measures. The cask is a helmet-like claw on the top of their head, which protects them from head injuries during fights, and their middle claw can be used like a dagger. It grows up to six inches long and can kill animals as large as dogs. They don't attack unprovoked, but still, they are responsible for at least 200 incidents with humans each year. Most of these are as a result of a person getting too close to take a selfie, but luckily the last person to die because of a cassowary was in 1926. Still, best be careful if you ever see one in the wild. Number 3. The Honey Badger On first glance, honey badgers might look cute, but they have a deadly reputation, something that's completely justified. They live across Africa, the Middle East, and India, and are in the same family as weasels. They are solitary animals, but, as so often is the case, this means that they have developed some pretty antisocial abilities. The first is very similar to a skunk. They have glands near the base of their tails that can release a foul-smelling odor. Their claws are very sharp, which means that they can dig a hole to hide in within a matter of minutes, and also helps them find prey underground. They will eat virtually anything, from plants and fruit to mammals, birds, and reptiles, and will never shy away from a fight. Honey badgers have been known to take on porcupines to fight for territory. Their only real predators are hyenas, lions, and leopards. Everything else is fair game. Physically, they are equipped with all kinds of tools to back up their fierce reputation. They have teeth that are sharp enough to break the shell of a tortoise, and skin that's thick and loose enough to wriggle free if they are caught by anything. It's also believed that honey badgers have a higher resistance to snake venom than most creatures, which is lucky because up to a quarter of their diet is made up of snakes. Number 2. The Grizzly Bear North American brown bears, which are normally called grizzly bears, are, apart from humans, the most dangerous animals in America. They are omnivorous and will eat a range of foods such as moose and elk or nuts and fruits. Their raging hunger only really kicks in when they are preparing for hibernation, a process known as hyperphagia, so you'd better hope that if you ever come face to face with one, it's in the summer months. Grizzlies can get virtually anywhere in search for food. They can climb trees, have been seen atop mountains looking for moths, their favorite snack, and will even eat other bears if need be. Countless people have lost their dogs, cats, goats, and all kinds of other pets to hungry bears. 
They can run at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, despite weighing up to 790 pounds and standing six and a half feet tall. Grizzlies are also far more intelligent than we tend to give them credit for, and can remember the locations of bountiful supplies of food more than 10 years after last visiting them. Even more impressive is that they have been seen covering their tracks with rocks and trees to help evade hunters. Grizzlies are undoubtedly one of the most badass creatures on the planet, and ones to be very careful of if you ever encounter one. Number 1. The Blue Dragon Sea Slug it might be a surprise to see a slug at the top of this countdown, but the blue dragon sea slug is no ordinary creature. Also known as the Glaucus atlanticus, they live in the Indian and Pacific Oceans where, due to a gas sac in their stomachs, they float on the surface. They grow to up to 1.2 inches long, so not very big, and look absolutely stunning when they fully extend their tendrils, known as serrata. Looks like a cute little Pokemon, right? Well, if you see one of these, you should stay well clear, and whatever you do, don't try to pick it up. What makes the sea slugs so badass is the way that they make their sting so powerful. The blue dragon is a carnivore and actually hunts down Portuguese man o wars, something virtually every other animal does its best to avoid, except for the blanket octopus. The slugs are immune to the man o wars' venom and actually ingest the nematocysts, the things that produce the sting, and store them in the extremities of their own body. This concentrates the venom, making it much more powerful than the actual man-o-war, and if you get stung, you can experience some pretty severe symptoms. Sightings of this little guy is rare, but more recently a lot of them washed up on the shores of Australia, and in 2016, a small group of them landed on the beaches of Florida. Beware the blue dragon invasion! It's important to respect critters that eat venomous carnivores for breakfast. Thanks for watching! Have you ever encountered any of these creatures? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!